I honestly don't think you can be particularly resilient without some form of spiritual connection. Or spiritual connection can be with oneself or how how one sees themselves. And I don't I feel like you need to have that sense of self in order to help you with resilience. Oh, utmost. Having that resilience and everything was really a great asset to get through this year. I think it's a much bigger and a wider and a longer question than just how we go this year. I think they're incredibly important. I think having community, religious community that can come together for faith is going to be a massive part of the community rebound after this, like as a whole. And personally, um, while I said I'm not spiritual, I'm not religious, I am part of a Buddhist society at university and we have continually each week done meditations, meta meditations, loving kindness, mm. uh, practices to try and keep ourselves connected and grounded during these times. I'm sure they're important for some people, which is uh, certainly a very good uh, uh, way to, to deal with these things this year. and. Um, I've been to a few uh, generally spiritual uh, meditative sort of events online and um, they were all right. I weren't so, weren't so much for me, but I can see that they're useful to some people. I feel like it's really important, especially in the context of this year. Like, I guess, you know, it gives people guidance in times where they might feel lost. And yeah, I think it's really important. Definitely mindfulness is a huge one for me. Uh, meditation in the traditional sense, I really struggle with, I'm trying. Um, <laughs> but I think to me, meditation has always meant more just being in the moment and dealing with what you have at that time um, and being open to what's around you at that time. So yes, I'd say meditation, yes, but definitely mindfulness, yes. As far as spiritual practice and things go, I think we underestimate the power of nature as well. Personally, I don't see any better place of worship than in creation itself. I do, I do use prayer every so often, yeah. Meditation was a big part of my life many years ago and I've lost it, <laughs> so. The time that I'm most mindful is when I'm painting, when I'm doing my art. And that's the time that I can just be completely in the moment. Um, uh, oh, there are some other times, but that's the time that I really get hooked in and I can just be, um, just be there. Yeah, I do enjoy music. Um, uh, and I do intentionally choose music if I feel like I need to, you know, like maybe, you know, um, you know, get myself out of a gloomy space or something like that and, you know, energize myself. I try and meditate my, and do other mindfulness pra practices as often as I can. Um, not as often as I want. I listen to music all the time, every kind of music, all the music, all day, every day. <laughs> nice. It doesn't always lift my spirit. Sometimes, you know, I listen to more dramatic types of music, but it's wow. always a good time. Because the Bible and uh, the Quran and all the various religious scriptures mm. are such prominent and important pieces of literature that are so important yes. to some people that it uh, interests me in that regard, I suppose, just to learn a little bit more about the text themselves. You know, we're so enclosed in our rooms and go actually going out of our homes and, you know, seeing green things is going to be really, like, I, I think our brain receptors are, like, um, like, biologically, we've been wired to, like, be with nature and actually seeing, you know, greenery and stuff is going to be really good for the human body. And like, I guess, spiritually, mentally, and just physically, because you're actually walking out. Mm -hmm.